Welcome, everybody. The story tonight has been a solid showing through the first half. Their efforts in the paint have really paid dividends. It's been a focal point for them, not so much for the other team. That's been the difference in the game. All right, now moving on to highlight two of the standout performers so far in the first half. Yeah, man, this is what we were hoping for. The two alpha dogs are squaring off. And when the team leaders are staring each other down, it's extra proud on now. They're bringing out the best of each other. Down, boy, down. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. so far we're halfway through the game that is a chance to add to their lead if they get into double digits that would make it a huge hill to climb we've got Rudy Fernandez Williams Goss is out there with Yabu Sele and it's Tavares in at the center now here's Evans second shot opportunity that one trumps for him. Yeah, coaches that be there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You gotta work harder on the class. Doing it pretty well, close to 50%. Abu Sale out there with Rudy Fernandez. And it's Tavares in at the center, locking down the middle. They set the pick. There's Gozier, covered by Evans. Gozier passes to Tavares. And the rejection by Evans. And that one goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Evans. Here's Yabuzele. He's got seven. Shot clock at three. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And with a quick break in the action, here are some numbers for Evans. He's right around five points a night, three rebounds, and two assists. And there isn't much to write home about with his numbers. I think he'd like to up his contributions. Yeah, but you got to earn that chance. I mean, you get what you earn. His numbers are fine, but he's not going to get a lot more floor time unless he turns it up a notch. Here is Fernandez. He's got 10. Inside. Abu Zaley kicks to Fernandez. Here's Cozier, covered by Evans. Oh, 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 really oh, just oh, a oh, great play oh, to sacrifice his body to take the charge. Heads up foul. action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. Pass to Zizic. Baseline jumper, and the basket is good. He's got seven. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. Here's Cozier. He has five. They set the pick. Williams goes the pass to Tavares. It's Rudy Fernandez on the way. The second chance effort. And it's Zizic with the rebound. On two of four here to start the second inning. It's Evans on the wing. Great positioning on the putback. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Here's Williams Goss. He's got six. Williams. Yeah, things not going their way. And he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Side Taylor. 
Boy, in a game this snug, you can ill afford to commit those kinds of turnovers. Yes, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. For the lead. And the layup is up and in. He's got nine. Guys, we're not through three quarters of play, but six lead changes already in this one. Yeah, competitive, and, and I think we all can agree that we thought this would be the type of game that would come down to the end. Here's Williams Goss. He's got six. Pass to Yui. They could use a bucket. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got five rebounds tonight. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Tries from seven. It's tipped. Here's Huey. Eight points for him. Fourier passes to Williams Goss. Drills it from outside. Williams Goss has got his third basket of the night. And you can see he just caught a glimpse of the open man on the perimeter and immediately got him the basketball. Here's Reynolds. A putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Pass to Poirier. Here's Williams Goss. Five to shoot. To the left side wing. A shot. And that one hits back iron. Going to even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. Williams with the ball. The step back jumper is good. Williams has got his second bucket tonight. And you can tell the defender not anticipating the step back. He was headed in the opposite direction. Poirier passes to Williams Goss. Here's Poirier. Here's Williams Goss. Nine points in the game so far. Yabu Sele. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second personal He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. And the first one at the line is good. Yabu Sele! At the line for two. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. Shoots the three. You can't get that one to fall. Being in a decent 44% clip here. Taylor inside. Here's Huey. Eight points for him. Down to the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Down low, here's Reynolds. Poirier grabs the miss. Poirier's got his fourth rebound in this one. Taylor gets to you. Takes a three. Tries again. Poirier passes to Yui. They shoot again. Outside, Taylor. Five on the clock. Here's Huey. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. The ball goes to the Let's take this chance to look at the teams that have been the league's most efficient passers this past month. And, and what stands out during this recent stretch is just Substitute how well they the pass team. the basketball. I mean, this is a club that has become really unselfish. So it's both teams making substitutions here.
the ball at 46 percent success rate since the beginning of the third quarter. From deep. He can't get it to go. A tight game here in Cleveland. And that'll be the first of a two game road trip for him. Out to the right wing. To the right side. Jacks up a three. That shot, no good. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. It's deflected, and he recovers it. Lock it two. Another shot. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. The ball goes to the away team. Coming onto the floor for the away team, Zizic, James Nunnally. And around 41% on the night. It's stolen. He takes it in. Comes up empty down low. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Got a piece of it. Here's Ertel, and there's the pass to Quizera. There's a screen. Six on the shot clock. Top of the key. No good on the shot. To the middle. Pass to Ertel. Passes it to Quizzer. Just fine to shoot. Good on the three-point shot. Eight points for him. And here is Taylor. Adjustments oh, are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Get ready. Rudy Fernandez has checked in for Taylor. kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. One forty-nine left to play in the third. No coverage that's Fernandez has got 13. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooting. Outside, Taylor. Pass to Nunley. Misplay. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. The offensive rebound. Here's the pass to her. Shot clock at six to the paint. Hang on. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. 56 seconds left in the third. Pass to Nunley. A special move before the shot. Nunley's got his first points of the night. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Passes it to Hanga. To the inside. And he goes in for the dunk. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. But you know what? You don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up. You've got to be mindful of that. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And pretty terrible here in the third quarter at around 30%. Here's Ertel. Inside. 
pass to Taylor from past the arc. No good that time. And we've watched three so far in this one. They're up by five. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. Come on, fans. It's the and I know I speak quarter. for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. The visitors with the ball. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Minnesota where they'll take out the Timberwolves. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Williams Goss is out there with Yui and a Tanga in at the power forward. Shot clock at five. For the three. That shot's off. He's made half and missed half of his eight shots. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. And he makes the first. Home team. Taking two shots. He's perfect from the line this time. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. And that's Evans penetrating. The kick out to Williams. No good from outside. One item that stood out, their ball move. Things are definitely clicking. And more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. Now here's Evans. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. And the pass to Reynolds. Let's it go with a three. A shot off that time. He put the game at 42%. Taylor gets to you. This one for three. Rebound by Williams. Gotten off to a rough start in the fourth quarter. Going 0 for 4 so far. Feeds to Evans. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. That shot off. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. Driving the lane. Now that one for Williams Goss. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Now here's Evans. Looking to get back on track here. Taylor with the rebound. Taylor's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. And that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. Pass to Yui from the arc. Evans with the rebound. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Dishes it to Williams. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough catch here. Gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Here's Huey. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Just a terrific effort on the offensive glass. That's how they're going to cut into this lead. And Greg, a dunk like that is sure to give them a spark. Which is a spark they desperately need. They've got to ramp up the intensity. They set the screen. Out to the right wing. And his hand got. Moves back up. And the layup is good. And the rebound and the foul show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with a soft touch to match. Williams Goss. 
personal foul, first team foul, home team. with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Thanks, Kevin. Well, the head coach of the home team had some words for the team during the break. His demeanor was not one of the coach whose team was well ahead. He said, this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. We'll see if they were listening, guys. Thanks, David. goes here. Pass to Erdo. There's the triple. And Reynolds pulls it down. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. Yep, Assistant. that one goes. Yeah, excellent assist there. Just led him to the perfect spot. Here's Ertel. The pass to Quizzer. Three-pointer. And Reynolds pulls it down. Reynolds has got four rebounds in this game. Over in the corner, Williams. Three-pointer. Rebound by Tavares. Tavares has got nine rebounds now tonight. Driving inside. Just running it in their faces with that gun. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. Just five to shoot. Rob. to Quizzell. From outside the arc, traps in the tray. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Now here's Williams. That one doesn't drop. Now Fernandez. Off target at the rim. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to Reynolds. keep him out of rhythm. Reynolds, good. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of his game. This is it to Quizzer. Fires the three. Rebound by Williams. Being a lackluster 38% for the game, struggling so far. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. And another miss. Ooh. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have, you're right. Here's Quizair. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. First personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for the home team. Quizair! First one falls for And hey, Greg, you were a hard-nosed defender. Would you be frustrated by what they're calling a foul today? You know, I, I would based on how I played, but if you grew up in this era, this is just the way the game is, and you have to adapt and adjust, and that's what you're seeing with the players. Guys can defend it every bit as good as they ever have. In fact, I would argue they're better defensively today because they're not allowed to grab and hold. So the league is focused on offense. The fans seem to love it. But at the end of the day, you still got to get after it defensively. Oh, so a tough quarter for him offensively. He hasn't been able to give his team a lift when they need it. Fernandez, the pass to Tavares. Just five on the clock. They set the pick. The pass to Yui. Lets it fly from 18. 
boy, did they need that rebound. I mean, they have struggled on the boards overall, but still with the chance to win. Exactly, because they've made enough plays to keep it close. And as a result, they're still in it. First personal foul, second team foul. At the line for the away team, Evans. And that one misses. Probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. And lost his touch right there. Didn't see that coming. Usually, when he's hot, he stays hot. Here's Huey. Away team foul. James Nunnally. First personal foul. Third team foul. Here's Huey. Has to quizzer. Stolen by Evans. Defense is all about anticipation, and he had perfect anticipation on that pass and comes away with the steal. It's tipped. To the paint. It's picked off. It's Evans on the wing. Beyond the arc. Hits the three-point bomb. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Here's Huey. To the middle. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Third personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting for the home team. Yakusele! Two shots. First one drops, and that'll push the lead to double digits. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Out to the wing. to Evans. Four on the shot clock. Got a piece of it. And here is Fernandez. Passes it to Tavares. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit. And he's been out there doing his thing, just dominating on the glass. There aren't many players who put more into their rebounding than he does. And we saw that again tonight. Nobody could match his effort on the boards. He's played up to his full potential tonight, and he's been playing to the crowd, too. He loves being the star attraction, even if it doesn't happen on a regular basis. Here's Zizic, 13 feet away. Can't hit that one. 35 seconds left in the game. With the drive, and that one drops for him. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Now here's Evans. for three. That shot is off. And so the home crowd treated to a win. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I love the way they executed on both 
Jackson of the floor completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And that about wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.